Have a listen to this scale. What do you notice about that? What's the arrangement of steps in that scale? Well, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, half step. Ah. and then whole step. There's an alternating progression of whole steps and half steps. Whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step. That's one of the octatonic scales. Octatonic scales. Okay, what about this one? Oh, by the way, this is Theory Lab 4, week 13, installment number 2. That should be relatively clear, I would think, but just for sure to say. What about, what's this? Oh, let's see. Yeah, here's another, uh, here's another scale. What? What do you notice about that scale's interval progression? Or the whole step, whole step, whole step, whole tone, whole tone. Yeah, that is one of the whole tone scales. You remember that from last time. Mr. Data to landing party, are you there, Captain? Et cetera, et cetera. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, uh, yeah. What's this? What's that? of intervals that determines the scale because this is the chromatic scale from on C this 
is a whole tone scale, starting and ending on C. Right? This is a C octatonic scale. The scale determines, the, or the intervals progression determines the scale. And the scale determines the harmony that you can derive from it. Okay? All right, because, so I'm gonna do this right, because this is quite possible as a one chord, one seven chord, depending on, in, in the C octatonic scale I just played you. You could do this too and add it to a ninth. That minor major seventh chord with a major ninth above the root. Uh, right? And adding the eleventh and then the thirteenth. That's a thirteenth chord. Right in uh, in that octatonic scale, whereas C major, that is a sixth. That that is this is this is a thirteenth using a C scale, C major scale that is, or C Ionian mode. Okay, so it's the it's it's the intervals that determine the scale, and the scale determines the harmony. And the harmony is determined by convention. And the convention, in, or at least the convention that I'm following at the moment, is the idea of tertian harmony. In other words, harmony literally stacked by thirds. Okay? You can have others, though. No, you can have secundal harmony. Right? You could have quartal harmony. You can have quintal. Right? You can stack them this if you want to. It's all a matter of agreed convention. All right, let's do a couple more things. Uh, yeah, here's another, here, here's a mode. Here's one of the modes that I've asked you to be working on. Oh, let's see, and uh, I'll be kind. Use one of the white notes. Uh, all right, listen to this one. Remember when I told you that, uh, and you can see this in other sources as well, that you can, that in a way that there are some modes that are closer to the major scale than it is the minor, and there are some that fall more closely or are more similar to the minor scale. Which one is that? Sorry, I must wrong octave, but. It's really more to accord to a more minor type mode. Okay, so that rules out the Ionian. It rules out the Phrygian, uh, not the Phrygian, but the uh, Mixolydian and the Lydians. So it's one of those other two, or one of those other three. Okay, so. There are the notes. And between what two, what scale degrees does the uh, does the half tones the half tones appear? One and two. That's a whole tone. Two and three are a half step. Four, uh, three and four are a half a whole step. Five, and, uh, f no, four and five is a whole step. Five and six is a whole step. Seven, to, uh, six to seven is a half step. Seven to one is a whole step. 
So that would be, there is a, a Dorian scale. Okay? All right, so it's the idea of paying attention to the progression of whole steps and half steps that will deter that will uh, that I'm wanting you to focus in on here. And I'm going to give you an oral quiz on this uh, next week sometime, and uh, I'm going to do it here in the, the lab. I'm not going to say anything about it in my in the printed assignment sheet. Uh, because I get the feeling that some of you guys aren't doing your homework because you're not looking at these lecture videos. These lecture videos, as I have said before and will say again, are the same thing as actual on-ground at Lewis in the lab lectures. You don't watch these things and you are absent from class. Okay, You are absent, unexcusedly. Okay, and if you don't watch these things, then guess what? Your grades will reflect it. And some of you, uh, some of you are getting to a point where you can't afford to do that. Especially, you know, if you plan on graduating anytime soon, you need to pass this class because if you don't pass this class, then you're going to flunk the theory lab sequence and do have to do the whole thing again. I, I mean, theory lab, and theory lab, theory four and theory four lab, you'd have to do again. And why? Because you didn't show up and you didn't do your homework. And guess what? That's on you. That is on you. Not me, you. Not your class members, you. All right, I hate to sound, you know, I hate to be unpleasant, but it's true. All right, now what's this? Let's try another one. Uh, yeah, and this again is another white scale, white note uh, mode. Nah, I don't like that. I don't like that one. We've used that one already. So let's try this one. Here we go. Now, which of the two, either, either the major scale or the minor scale, is that one most similar to? It starts off sounding a lot like the major scale until it gets to there. If it were major, you'd want this. Sorry about that. But it goes, instead of that, it goes this. So what's the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. It's this. That minor seventh between the root or the tonic of the, the scale and the seventh scale degree. It's a minor seventh instead of a major seventh. So that means that it's a major scale with a lowered seventh, making it the mixolydian mode. Okay, or whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. The half steps are between the third and fourth scale degrees and the 6th and 7th scale degrees. 6th and 7th, 3rd and 4th, okay? So, I can ask you all kinds of stuff about the modes next week, and you can just assume that there's going to be one. And I won't mention it in the written sentence, but it will be here. And if you don't, drown the bowl down the hole. Okay. All right, what else did I have in mind for you today? Oh, uh, remember your assignment for this week is not only two uh, Teoria interval exercises using both simple and compound, 50 of them each, uh, but I also asked you to do, to try five, uh, ex five rhythmic exercises as well, also on Teoria. Okay, so you got a little bit more to do this time. 
All right. Oh, let's see. Let's. I'd like to do a melodic dictation next. Uh, this is again. This is modal. Uh, and it's it's a treble clef. Three four. There is a one beat pickup measure, and then one two three four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 full measures, and then a two beat ending measure. Okay? So treble clef, 3, 4, one beat pickup measure, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, hang on. Yeah, well, excuse me. Sorry about that. What you need is a treble clef, three, four, one beat pickup measure, then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full three, four measures. Then you have a two beat measure. Okay. And then after that, you have another one, two, three, four full measures of three, four. And then finally, another measure that which there are only two beats. Okay? Let me say that again. Treble clef. Three, four. A one beat hiccup measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven full measures of three, four, then a two beat measure, and then after that you have one, two, three, four full three, four measures, and then another measure in which there are only two beats. Okay, don't put two, four. Don't do that. Okay, all right, now, in the uh, first two beat measure, put a repeat sign. Well, all right, all right. Well, let, let's just try these first. Let's just try these first few measures. The pickup measure, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven full measures of three, four. And then a one, then a one measures of two beats. Okay. Yeah, I know this is confusing. Sorry. All right. But well, you know. All right. So your first note is an eighth note F. Uh, bottom space uh, second uh, of the treble clef. All right. So let's try this little melody here. One, two, three, one, two. Sorry for that flub at the end. All right. I do it again. A little slower. Hopefully, I won't flub it this time. One, two, three, one, two. Sorry about that. Okay, again, this time I'll go from the uh, from the 
pickup measure through the end of the, of the end of the fourth full measure. One, two, three. Time I will sing it. One, oh, I'm singing here. One, two, three, one, two. La 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 la. Okay, for what do you get for rhythms there? What's the most common metrical unit that you've got there? What's the fastest one? Here's the rhythm. One, two, three, one, two. T T ta 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 ta. So yeah, eighth notes and quarter notes, and a half note at the first two beats of the fourth full measure. All right, sing it again. One, two, three, one, two. Da la 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 la. So what you should have in the pickup and first four full measures are the pickup, you've got eighth notes F and G, and then for the next three measures are quarter notes, you have A, G, A, C, D, F, E, D, D, and then in the fourth measure, you've got a half note D and then a quarter note C, middle C. So do that again. Pick up is two eighth notes, F, G. Next three measures are all quarter notes, A, G, A, C, D, F, E, D, D, and then measure four is half note, quarter, D, C, middle C. Okay? All right, now let's go from uh, let's go from the C in the measure in the last beat of measure four through measures the measures five, six, seven, and eight. Okay, so we'll start from the last beat of measure four and go through to the end of measure eight. Okay, here's your C. Here we go. One, two, You know, maybe I'll uh, say something. Man, if you copy this out and send it to me, that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll do that. Yeah, copy this out and send this in with your homework next week. Okay? Copy this out and uh, send it in with your homework. See how many actually do it. Again, one, two, aren't I mean? Crazy idea, expecting you to do your homework. One, two, and actually watch these videos like you're supposed to be going to class. One, two, three, one, two.
Now, did you notice anything interesting about measure five and six? What's that interval between the last note, the last quarter of measure five, and the first note of measure six? That's a minor seventh. All right. All right. Same thing again. One, two, three, one, two. Sing it this time. One, two, three, one, two. La 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 la. And there's the last note of the. Uh, that's the note in the first two-beat measure. And the first note of the piece is this. What is that interval? Da da. Da da. What would that be? Now, hang on a second. Let's see if I can find this. What is that? A fun calling. Yeah, it's a doorbell. You guys, remember that? You guys remember those old commercials for Avon? Maybe probably you don't, but there's an old commercial for Avon makeup products in which the, the tag was this, that on a doorbell, and someone saying, Avon calling. Avon calling. Yeah, so that's a major third. Okay, all right. Yeah. Okay. So, for the uh, from the C in me quarter note in measure four uh, through the end of that half note A, you've got uh, C, D, C quarter notes in measure five, C higher up a minor seventh, D, D, C eighth notes. The next measure, and then the la and then the uh, the uh, um, measure measure seven, the last three beat measure before the first two beat measure, is A G C. All right. Now at the end of the two beat measure, put a repeat sign. Okay, because this is the first ending of a tune. Okay? And if you know how to write a first ending indication over that, then do so. Okay? Alright, now the uh, after that after that first measure of two beats, which you are not repeated, not should not put a two-four measure there, but it's just keep it in three-four, keep this all in three-four. The next Full three beat measure um, starts like this, and this will go to the end. Uh, hopefully, this is going to make sense to you. One, two, three, one, two, three.
So after your two beat measure in which there is an A half note, the next full 3-4 measure has an A half note and then two eighth notes at the end. Now I'll start with that A half note. One, two, three. Does that sound familiar? One, two, three, one, two, three. A, F, G, A, G, A, C, D, F, E, D, D, D. Okay, and above that, the 3-4 measure, after the first 2-4 measure, wherein you've got the 3-4 measure, I mean, a half note and two eighth notes, F and G, right? Half note A, two eighth notes, F and G, and then from there, from there to the end, you've got quarter notes, A, G, a, C, D, F, E, D, D, and then the last second, two, the, the second two beat measure, you have a half note D. Okay, so the whole tune sounds like this. Da, 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 ta, 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 ta. Notes in that scale are as follows. The notes in the pitch, the notes in the uh, the notes in the uh, melody are as follows: D, E, F, D, A, C, D. That is what you call a one, two, three, four, five, six. A hexatonic melody because there are six ma six notes in it, and what would that be? What would and and let's assume that since it ends on D, that D is the quote unquote tonic. What is that scale? Since there's only six of those, there's hexatonic. So it's an incomplete mode, but what do you suppose it would be? Yeah, probably a Dorian. It's probably some kind of Dorian scale that they're working with. That, by the way, is an old, uh, apparently, I just noticed this, that this is a, uh, uh, an East Coast Canadian tune from Newfoundland. I'm not from Newfoundland, but I'm from Nova Scotia, but Newfoundland is very near Nova Scotia. And uh, uh, Newfies, uh, Newfoundlanders are frequently referred to up there as Newfies, or by Canadians as Newfies. And Newfies, we sort of tend to like to make jokes about Newfies up there the ways, well, you know, how it used to, well, let's, let's not get into that, because we don't want to get political here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> so, like the like the the joke between the, there's a war between the Newfoundlanders and the Nova Scotians, 
and the Newfoundlanders of the Nova Scotians were throwing dynamite at the Newfoundlanders. And the Newfoundlanders picked the dynamite up, lit it, and threw it back. Hey, a joke on me. <laughs> you were thinking something else, weren't you? All right, cool. All right, excellent. All right, let's do some of that. Now, remember, I want that copied out and sent with your homework. And I'm not going to tell you about this except through this means, which means I'm going to know that whether or not you watch this class and it gives me a pretty good idea as to who's actually coming to class these days. Okay? All right. So the rest of the time, I would like you guys to work on your rhythm and your, uh, your intervallic stuff for uh, as your assignments. Uh, that's it for this time. As I said, I will send you a lengthier, I'll send you a lengthier uh, one, unfortunately, just one um, installment on uh, Theory 4 because of technical issues with the one I tried to upload yesterday. Okay, and that will come tomorrow. Sorry about that. Hope you're well. Stay calm. We'll get through this. Bye. Bye.